Welcome back to Alice in Mystery 366. It's been a while, I mean a long time since I've been making videos. Sorry, getting stuff to it. Now I'm just gonna make, you know, put some games and put up to some videos on PC. And I'll try to come back, but I cannot guarantee every day you know, so I'm so concerned. Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with a DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. Here's my DNA before the incident. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already.
Oh, 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 Matt. Okay. I got this one. Get that. Just need to change that. Did I get it? There we go. That should do it. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Ooh. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. It was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce... There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. All right, going to the Vale. Inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Uh, will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. 
Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Oh, I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. All right. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Oh, oh. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Okay. matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. 
After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how 
real sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, well, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Now, that might be true, but I really needed you here. Without that strobe grenade of yours, I might have been toast. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now... But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be...
catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. Uh, but if I do anything too drastic, you'll know we're on to I suppose I can just wing it. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh, Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Oh my God, my God. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react either way? I don't know. We've seen this a lot, but... Oh, let's try this. We're gonna... This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. This has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. For the value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. Believe me, Harvey, I've been paying for them my whole life. I have nothing left to give. I'll be the judge of that. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. I'm not the enemy. The children of Arkham are. Oh, don't you worry. I'm taking care of them tonight, too. What do you mean? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? You can't believe it. You actually have lost your mind. You're a lunatic. I have a strong feeling that history will say otherwise. I could 
didn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. Then I'll do anything to protect my city. Then I am the guardian of Gotham. Come now, Bruce. You must see what I'm going for. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham terror plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. Well, no one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. <laughs> I hope that was satisfying. That's the last one you get. No, fuck, I said it did Batman. Damn! Come on, keep walking. Shut up! Just, Just keep moving. Oh, it is Look at what you're doing. This is wrong, and you know it. Hey, he said shut up. Any way you cut this, this is murder. Is that what you want? This city is at war. Sometimes casualties are the cost of winning the war. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Listen to yourself. You sound brainwashed. No, he hasn't brainwashed us. We're helping him. We're doing the right thing. The mayor is the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... I and if you think that's where he's going to stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I... Uh, um, maybe... Uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Go on then. Pull the trigger. Do it. You're right. Oh God, I was about to... I'm sorry. I knew you didn't have the stones for this. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Den just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Den's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. The amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. You gotta be able to arrest him after this, right? We're doing what we can, Bruce. But there aren't a whole lot of contingency plans for what to do when your mayor starts blowing up the city. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. 
but I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. Dan's power comes from bending the law to work around you. Maybe you need to do the same. Hey, I swore an oath to uphold the law above all else. But you're right that with Dent changing the rules, we might need to update our playbook too. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. <sighs> Lucius, what's the situation? I I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I don't know what you guys were trying to do. Oh. We gotta go. I'm sorry. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Time. Hey, 
It's the Barrett Dead Man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow ball you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm. Yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. Spare me the chatter, Cobblepot. Afraid not, mate. This has been in the making for a long, long time. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer wow. technology. And Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we can own it? And with it, we'll strike back in the dead administration. And then the liberation can truly begin! Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy-eared costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. just happened yeah that little butte is almost done acting your precious network that's the device few more minutes all your secrets are mine I will stop you before that happens. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! you learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, Batman. <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it.
Marco! Uh, this isn't the end, Batman! Stay down. Or what? You'll break my other leg. Now you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. Oh, I'm not telling you anything. That over with. Damn. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> well, that is the end of episode four. Let's see a sneak peek of the last episode. I am gonna. I think that is the last. Oh, never mind. It doesn't show us. I think 